All right, so we're going to go back and do a quick review over finding density or calculating density. So I have three different substances here. One is 30 grams, one is 4 grams, and one is 1 gram. And then the volume for each one, respectively, is 40 cubic centimeters, 9 cubic centimeters, and 4 tenths of a cubic centimeter. So we're going to calculate the density for each of these. So density is mass divided by volume. And so what I'm going to do for each of these is take the mass, so 30 grams, divided by 40 cubic centimeters, and that's going to give me my density. So that's 30 divided by 40. And in this case, that's going to be 0 0.75. So that's 0 0.75 grams per cubic centimeter. And that's going to be your density for this first object. All right, so now for the second one. So I'm going to set it up as well. So that's going to be 4 grams divided by 9 cubic centimeters. And so if you can't readily calculate that in your head, that's 4 divided by 9. And so that's going to be a repeating decimal. And so my density is 0 0.4 repeating grams per cubic centimeter. And so that's the, the second one. And so my third one, I've got one gram. So that's one gram divided by four tenths of a cubic centimeter. And so if we punch that in, that's 1 divided by 4 tenths, and that's going to give me 2.5 grams per cubic centimeter. So 2.5 grams per cubic centimeter. Now, one of the facts that, that we haven't really covered in great detail is the density compared to water. So the density of water, of pure water, is 1. So anything that has a density greater than one, like this one, the 2.5 grams per cubic centimeter, is going to sink when it's placed in water. Anything that is less than one for its density is going to float when you place it in water. And so that's one of the distinguishing characteristics when we talk about density and compare it to other substances. So when you have two different substances, if the density is different between them, the object that is more dense, or if it's two different liquids, the liquid that is more dense is going to move to the bottom or it's going to sink. And the liquid that is less dense is going to move to the top or it's going to float. And so that's just a quick run through and reminder of density and how that relates to mass and volume and what we've been talking about lately.